So tell my friends that I'll be over here I'm April Simpson Hunt. Welcome back to my channel. This is my getting ready with me video. Now I'm like most other moms I know and most of my makeup drawer consists of one dollar Dollar Tree items and hand-me-downs like this foundation. It's the Avon Anu Visible Lift Foundation and I'm not sure of the shade because my mom gave it to me and the sticker was gone. Now I just use my ring fingers and middle fingers and try to focus on the areas that need the most coverage like my big under eye bags. This is my makeup bag where I keep my makeup in. I like to keep it in the bathroom up high on the back of the door so the baby doesn't get into it. Ever since becoming a mom, concealer is probably the one makeup thing that I can't go without. This is from the Dollar Tree and it's called Cover Everything Concealer and it's in a yellow shade. To apply it, I just use my ring finger, dab it under my eyes and around my nose and try to cover up those circles as best I can. I try not to rub it in too much because then I think it actually looks worse. This is from Crestina Cosmetics, which is a mail order company. My mom gave it to me and I've used almost all of it. <laughs> the mirror also fell out. Um, I use my makeup brushes that I got for Christmas from my mom. Oh, oops. I love these brushes. There's the brand name if you're interested. They're just a cheap set. It has one of everything. They're all pretty much falling apart at this point because my toddler won't leave them alone. But for powder, all I do is I use the lightest two shades and then I put it on the brush and set my concealer and foundation lightly. After that, I go in with the pink and the brown or the tan color and I just dab it on the apples of my cheeks. Uh, this is a full coverage powder, so you can use all four of them together as kind of a color corrector, but I found that that's a little bit too dark for me personally. It's a really great powder though, and I'm glad my mom gave it to me. After that, I must put on deodorant. It's kind of a weird spot to do that, but degree deodorant has always been my favorite. I also have a knockoff Ed Hardy perfume that I love. I don't know where my husband got it from, and I normally don't like knockoffs because I think they smell funny, but this one does really good. Another Wet n Wild dollar product, the contouring powder that I loved, but it's broken. Now I'm taking the eyeshadow brush and applying lightly a copper color to my um, <laughs> lash line and then up in the crease a little bit. I also put on a yellow uh, gold color eyeshadow all over my lid, but somehow that clip got cut out. It's another Dollar Tree eyeshadow product. I find that with my blue eyes, copper and blue colors work best to draw them out. And I don't like to use eyeliner because my eyes are already a little bit squinty. After that, I use another Wet n Wild Dollar product, the Lash Blast Mascara, um, brown black, I believe it is. And this one really badly needs replaced, but I'm using it until I have another dollar, I guess. I'm probably just too lazy to go to the store, honestly. Um, I just apply that along my lash line. I try to blink while I'm rubbing it on, and I also rub the brush from side to side at the base of my lashes and then wiggle it on it towards the ends. I find that uh, does a lot better than just applying it. Sometimes when I'm feeling really, really on it and I want to look really nice, I use this product that my mother gave me from Unique. It's one of those 3D fiber things, and this is just the glue part. It's not really a glue, <laughs> uh, but it acts as some kind of adhesive and it gets the mascara to stick to my lashes and it makes them appear fuller. Um, I have no idea where you can get the kit, but I'm sure somebody that's in sales for them would be happy to let you know. Then I go over it with the mascara again. Um, I find this trick helps a lot, but I don't do it every day. Now I'm playing with a selfie light, which I should have had on from the start. <laughs> uh, EOS Strawberry Lip Gloss is the next thing in my arsenal, I guess. I'm acting kind of funny because I'm on camera. Um, this is the eyebrow brush 
I'm just using it to brush out my eyebrows. Um, I normally fill them in with my eyebrow pencil, but apparently my daughter walked off with that as well. So I'm going to just put my $5 back in my bra <laughs> and use the brown shadow from my eyeshadow kit to fill in a little bit of my eyebrows. Ever since going blonde, I find that if I don't do this step, my face looks a lot washed out during the day. Um, it would probably be great to have some gel or another pencil eyebrow brush, um, but I'll take what I can get and eyeshadow does the trick when I need something that will fill in. How do I look? Now I'm going to show you where I hang up the makeup bag so that my daughter doesn't get to it. This is my lovely bathroom. Pay no attention to the pee on the toilet. That's a Dollar Tree hook from the dollar store on the back of the closet door. And now I'm going to show you how I do my hair, which I also never do, but again, I'm just showing off of the camera. <laughs> I'm going to tease small sections of my hair, not the crown part. I'm going to put the crown up and out of the way, and then I tease sections that are underneath that to kind of lift my hair. And um, uh, Ever since becoming a mom, I don't get showers very often. <laughs> Um, and my hair is very oil prone. So when I'm out of dry shampoo, I like to find tricks like this to make my hair look like it has more volume, even if it's just really oily and <laughs> needs to be washed. I'm not generally a fan of teasing because I get my comb stuck in my hair like I just did there. You can also see my roots. I'm in the process of debating whether or not I should go back to brown which I think I'm going to end up doing, but it is what it is for right now, and I have about two inches of growth. There's the comb stuck in my hair again. This is why I generally don't tease my hair, but uh, then I use a round brush to, I do do this every day, honestly, flip my hair upside down and brush it out from the root to the tip, and then fluff up a little bit of my bangs and pin them up and out of the way because hair in my face drives me crazy. That is how I get ready. What do you think? Is your routine a lot different than mine? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Good. Say bye-bye. 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 She's like, that's not the camera. That's your phone. So tell my friends that I'll be over here. Oh, here. Yeah.